Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 23rd, 2019. So doggone it, um, we keep having these overnight reversals and overnight gaps that are just getting really, really frustrating. And this morning we are getting a doozy. Uh, during the night, Asian markets sold off and um, um, China seemed to um, increase their rhetoric uh, on the trade war situation, um, adding some more fears to the market and bringing that back up. The last few days, it really felt like they were trying to put in a bottom in the market. I think a lot of folks... Uh, uh, we're likely gaining confidence and maybe even adding some long trades. And uh, this morning, they're likely to get substantially punished with a large gap down. This morning, we're looking at Dow futures down over 200 points. As a matter of fact, we've been down more than 250 points. But as the morning has gone on, we're getting that little bit of a morning pump. And uh, they're picking that up just a little bit uh, this morning. But certainly going to be an uncomfortable morning. Now, what we have to look at here in the chart is certainly now I think we can... Um, Put this to rest whether or not we're going to fail at the 50-day moving average um, gapping down into here this morning we have certainly failed um, that 50-day moving average making a um, lower high in the chart so uncomfortable yes but not um, not that surprising, uh, to tell you the truth. When we look at um, the technicals of a chart, we see that as we slip below that 50-day moving average, we always run into that, that potential where we rally back to those resistance levels. We want to see that move back through, but unfortunately, that's not the case, and we are slipping lower this morning. So a failure at the 50-day moving average. Now, a failure at the 50-day moving average does not necessarily mean that we have to make a new low in the market. However, that would be the typical price pattern that you'd see for a downtrend, that we would make a new low. But we could easily find some support somewhere um, in this chart find some price support and we could see those bulls maybe step up in this area and say hey no we're not going to allow this to go any lower or we could find some price support down in this area but it is also not out of the question for uh the possibility to occur i know no one wants uh this to even be talked about but the possibility that we could slip right down into here to find that support and possibly even lower down here toward that 25,000 level in the chart. So watch those levels closely. If if panic starts to kick in and we see some uh, those sellers begin to pile on, there could be some issues here um, as we move forward. So let's um, take a look. And if we do get a bullish move, and we have seen this several times lately that have been, it's been really, really frustrating where we get these big gap downs and then the bulls jump in and we rally it back up. So we've seen that several times, gap down, rally back up. Um, gap down, rally back up. So um, there's a gap down, rally back up, and then fail. So we've had several of those lately. So just because we're getting a gap down doesn't mean that the bulls are going to run away scared. They're not going to give up easily. There is that possibility and that potential that we could see buyers step in and push it up. But we'll have to watch that pretty closely and keep in mind that if the bulls step in and push that up, remember we are still beneath the downtrend. We are still beneath the 50 day moving average and racing into that trade, a gap down and, and try to rally back up could put you in a situation where we just run right back into resistance and fail. So be really careful with that. We're going to have to watch this price action really closely. And unfortunately, there just really is not much edge to be had with these daily gaps for the swing trader right now it really favors day trading unfortunately 
Well, I say unfortunately. I know there's a lot of day traders out there that are loving this volatility. Uh, swing traders, not so much. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY, SPY, same situation here. Failing below that 50-day moving average. Now gapping lower this morning um, into maybe a little bit of support right in here, but very little support so if those sellers decide to pick up and really decide to press we could easily be down here testing the this level down in here and dare I say even moving down to the 200 day moving average that's a typical failure pattern here at the 50 where we um, fail through the 50 rally back to it as resistance and then we move on lower to the 200 day moving average that's a very typical uh, failure pattern so kind of keep that in mind now if those bulls do decide to rally from here let's keep in mind that we have these resistance levels above in price so if we gap down into here and rally back up we haven't really changed anything our downtrend is still in place so be really careful about chasing those long trades let's take a look at the cues cues getting hit right in the mouth this morning getting an ugly ugly move down and we've been struggling here in the queues a bit and they are really getting socked hard this morning dropping down into this level i would suggest that the queues i i think it's almost impossible that the that the queues won't at least test uh this support in here so we'll want to watch that carefully keep in mind that that is a pretty strong support if we pull this chart back we have lots of price evidence right through here as a fairly strong support hopefully we'll f cooler heads will prevail and we'll hold that level However, if we do not, if we were to sink through that level, watch this very closely because we could get that really quick panic selling. Uh, there could be a lot of tech stock losses right underneath here. So watch that closely. We could get that really quick sell off um, if we were to drift down below that area. Keep in mind, if we do find support here, if we do pick this up, then we still have to be careful here because our downtrend is still in play. And my rules for a downtrend, by the way, let me let me show you this. My rules for a downtrend, I don't want to try and pick a bottom. If I try to pick a bottom in here, all I end up doing is running that bottom right into the price resistance where we have that possibility of the failure. So my rule on this is we must break through the downtrend we must prove that we can hold it as support and then I look for buyers and by the way that's the first evidence right there of an uptrend when we make that higher low I want the easy trade in the uptrend and that's what I'm going to be waiting for uh, breaking the downtrend I do not and I have no desire to try and pick a bottom that's the job of the institutions that's the job of the big guys they pick the bottoms in the market they're the ones that provide the support retail traders get an opportunity to follow so don't try to be the hero and pick those bottoms because oftentimes we can try and pick that bottom think we've get done really really well we get that rally back up oh my gosh i'm a hero the next morning the market gaps lower so be really really careful of that let's take a look at iwm poor iwm um just a sick 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 puppy here um iwm not looking good selling off yesterday there's the downtrend this morning we're gapping down in in here to new lows um, in IWM looking really really sick and I would suggest as I suggested even right in here um, when we float out here in midair um, that usually doesn't stand very long and I think there's a really good chance we're going to test these levels of support um, down through here so we'll want to watch that closely um, as we move down toward these areas. So um, be very careful um, on this chart. We could slip right down into this area pretty darn easily. Um, if the bulls do happen to pick it up, of course, we have plenty of resistance above in price action and downtrend uh, to um, allow those bull bears to defend that area. So uh, I wouldn't expect that, um, at least today. Um, uh, to to rally back through uh, when I say rally we could rally but I don't mean rally back up through this resistance so um, let's take a look 
at the VIX. Now the VIX could be a place to be watching pretty closely today. We've drifted back below this level of, res of support, making this a resistance point, but my guess is we're probably going to spike up above that today. So watch that closely. If fear really starts to creep in, this is where we can see that fear really start to turn to panic and really escalate. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. I don't see that in the price action right now, but that's certainly always the potential and all we have to do is look back in the past to see that same thing occur where we um, we rally we hold a higher level and then that panic really starts to sink in and we get those big fear spikes in these charts and you can see those fear spikes just really can get dangerous very very quickly um, in these charts so watch that carefully if that fear starts to turn to panic today if they pile on the selling this can get pretty extreme um, watch that closely Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see um, yesterday's selling, we did pull back in here, but we still have a big open door for potential downside move. And we are certainly getting that this morning. Um, chances are that we are going to make this move a little bit extreme. Um, and we could pull back down below these levels right in here that we've seen here just recently that held us um, in support we could be down in here before too terrible long so um, we do have that open door down there but the good news is that we're reaching some of those extreme oversold levels now I want to uh, I, I want to make a comment on this we can reach these extreme levels and we can stay there for a while okay so it doesn't mean that we have to as we have lately just pop down here and pop right back up um, we can sink down into this level and stay down here for a while and the market continues to sell off so watch that uh, carefully and don't think just because we pop down there it has to have an immediate reaction back up remember we're very news based right now this is a news based reaction and news can certainly uh, uh, make these indicators do some really funky things so kind of keep keep that in mind um, watch that price action price is king and as long as you stay focused on that price action you can usually do a pretty good job with it but make sure you stay focused on price Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things on it could, that could certainly move us around. First, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have our jobless claims. That's been very, very strong. Um, I can't imagine we're going to get just a massive change in that today, but obviously we want to pay attention to that and then we have probably the bigger report of the day is the new home sales report um, that's the one where um, uh, well uh, that could actually help things right now low interest rates have actually helped those new home sales perhaps that continues to stay strong and so we'll want to pay attention to that we have the EIA natural gas report. I don't expect that to do anything in the market today. A whole bunch of bond auctions and, uh, um, and announcements. And then um, we continue on with our parade of Fed speakers um, today. And um, let me move this up so you can see all this. We continue on with those uh, Fed speakers, just several of them today. I doubt anything is going to come out from that. We probably won't learn anything from there. And then the Fed balance sheet can sometimes move the market, but uh, unlikely unlikely so kind of keep those things in mind for today on the earnings calendar we had over 50 companies reporting earnings today and some of those companies uh, well a lot of uh, retail is is kind of what we're seeing um, in those companies right now so uh, or in those reports right now so stocks like BKE uh, reporting uh, today I don't can't see that they have reported yet uh, Foot Locker um, going to report today so kind of keep an eye on some of those retail stocks they're moving things around here a little bit maybe uh, it's unlikely that they really move the market substantially though so let's take a look at um, well before I do that let me just um, 
put my little commercial in here and I want to say thank you to everyone uh, very much for uh, supporting um, what I do on on, on YouTube and, and Facebook you guys are just fantastic thank you for doing that so if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube follow me button on Facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment I can't even express how humbling it is when you guys take the time to leave those comments um, thank you so much for that the comments are just so so nice so kind um, thank you very much uh, you guys are the best I truly truly appreciate it and um, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family so with that how about we take a look at a few stocks that may be setting up and there's a few things out there in the defensive sector area and utilities area that might be a place to look for some relative safety in some of these trades plus a couple other places that are starting to perk up just a little bit so let's take a look at like monster monster beverages monster pushing up nicely in a trend here and you can see I've placed an alert on the chart here we have a bit of a cup and handle type pattern forming right here there's our cup there's our handle we're waiting for those buyers to step through and push that on up um, in monster beverage now you can see we do have resistance levels above that we'll have to pay attention to but monster holding up quite well in this trend is looking very very strong um, as some of these defense defensive sector stocks hold up very very well um, we can also see those kind of moves in coca-cola yesterday big big move in coca-cola yesterday it's going to run into some price resistance up here very very soon but we can see some of the uh, we're getting folks moving toward those defensive sector stocks we're getting these nice trends in these defensive sectors because everyone's running to relative safety um, in these old stodgy companies with some nice dividend yields and that's where we're seeing some of these uh, uh, well just some nice trends and nice patterns take a look at PepsiCo PepsiCo is another one of those and one that we've made some nice money on here recently PepsiCo moving up nicely nice little consolidating pattern over here I think there's still a possibility PepsiCo could rest a little bit more over toward the trend but we'll want to watch and wait to see if that does occur um, on that watch for that next entry signal into the trade and it could be just simply by placing an alert right there um, a, a great easy entry into that position um, so take a look at stocks like Shopify Shopify showing lots and lots of strength here being very very strong moving up heavily um, and looking really really good Shopify doesn't show at least at this point any willingness to stop or to even um, or even respect the down move in the overall market looking very very good here and you might want to have that on your list for a potential trade please keep in mind any of these stocks that I reference here I reference them um, with a, an idea of putting them on your watch list they are not stocks necessarily to trade um, right now they're for your evaluation only it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything let's take a look um, at some stocks that are possible shorts take a look at eBay eBay I mentioned on a Sunday as a potential short and that has certainly played out uh, in, in this move down in this failure from the 50-day moving average but it has been really muted so far and that may soon pick up with the bearishness coming into the market so you might want to keep an eye on stocks like eBay Valero Energy I mentioned also on Sunday as a potential short and you can see that um, has really played out uh, very very well um, in a strong short position take a look at Boeing Boeing um, is putting in an evening star pattern right at a major resistance level we've got lots of price resistance up in here and a downtrend to contend with and there's an evening star pattern showing itself right here and a potential short trade and you can see this morning it looks like Boeing is gapping down on that move um, or on that pattern so possible short trade set up there if you're looking for shorts everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits thank you to everyone who clicks that thumbs up button and thank you to everyone who leaves that brief comment 
You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. If you're struggling, if you're frustrated as a trader, please understand you're not alone. Particularly as a swing trader right now, I'm, uh, I'm primarily a swing trader. I'm doing very little trading because I just have no edge in the market with these daily overnight gaps and reversals. So I'm just kind of protecting my capital uh, more than anything and taking a few intraday trades uh, to bring in some, some money. But um, just kind of keeping it really careful here as we continue to move around like this. Please remember, there's no shame in standing aside and protecting that money. Remember, that's one of our primary jobs as a trader is to protect that capital. Because let's th face it, if we fight a market where we have no edge and we give away that money uh, or give that money back to the market, we end up in a situation where we have less to work with when our edge does return and we've destroyed our confidence in the process. So stand aside when you don't have that edge, when you don't feel comfortable in the market. There's no shame in that because remember, job number one in a market like this is to protect your capital. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.